Welcome back to Adventures in Storyville. Are you ready for another storybook adventure today? We're going to meet a dog named Arfie. And Arfie happens to be one of the best dogs in the whole world. He has a lot of great qualities, but he's in need of a new home. Will Arfie be able to find someone to adopt him? Our storybook adventure is with the book Can I Be Your Dog by Troy Cummings. <laughs> Dear people at Yellow House, Woof! Can I be your dog? I am potty trained, and I have my own squeaky bone. Also, I love to play. I see you have a cat, but I'm willing to work with you. Who's a good dog? I am! Sincerely, Arfie. P.S. I know every house on Butternut Street, but I asked you first. Dear Arfie, we're so sorry, but you cannot be our dog. Our cat is, um, allergic to dogs. Good luck in your search, the Honeywells. Dear Butcher Lady, can I be your dog? I think your butcher shop would be a great place for a puppy like me. I could keep the floor nice and clean. Arfie. Look, pal, I've got a bone to pick with you. Last time I let a dog into my shop, a dozen meatballs went missing. Sorry, but there's no way I'm taking in a pooch. Veronica Shank, Butcher. P.S. No hard feelings. Enjoy these dried giblets and good luck finding a home. Nom, 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 nom. Dear Fire Station Number 5, can I be your dog? I can fetch your boots. Plus, let's just say I know my way around a fire hydrant. I've sniffed out every single one on Butternut Street, and yours is the shiniest. Arfie. Dear applicant, thank you for your interest in working with the Butternut Street Fire Station. Unfortunately, the position of fire dog has already been filled. We will keep your letter on file. Best wishes in your search. Station number five. Dear junkyard guy, I'm not gonna lie. You're my next to last choice. But these past few days have been rough. Rough, rough, rough. So please, can I be your dog? I don't eat much, and I can bark if people try to steal your junk and stuff. Hopefully yours, Arfie. Dear Mutt, get lost. Dear Last House on Butternut Street, can I be your dog? I see that your yard is full of weeds and your windows are broken and there's a funny smell, but I'm not picky, just lonely. Arfie. Return to sender. Nobody at this address. Oh! Dear Arfie, can I be your person? I need a friend who will be with me no matter what. Snow, rain, heat, or gloom of night. And I see that you already know everyone on Butternut Street. I know you'll make a first-class partner. With hugs and head scratches, Mitzi Whipple, letter carrier. P.S. If you agree, meet me at the Big Blue Mailbox. <laughs> Dear Mitzi, you know what? My tail has been wagging ever since I got your note. My answer is yes. Truly yours, Arfie. P.S. Woof. Scritch scratch. I'm so glad Arfie was able to find a new home. 
After writing all those letters to the people on Butternut Street, I'm glad Mitzi was able to adopt him. If you like this story, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to hear more stories on Adventures in Storyville, you can subscribe. Until next time, my friends, keep reading! Keep reading!